what separates the world's most outstanding brands. We are living in a world where almost everyone seems to have this attention deficit disorder. In an economy which is driven by attention, where attention is a scarce commodity, the currency of this economy is really experience. If you look at Disney, it is focused on delivering a magical experience to children. If you look at Apple, the experience of any of their products or even their showroom is always amazing, stimulating. So brands that deliver an outstanding experience are almost always market leaders. Positioning is really what makes a brand competitive. If you take the Ritz-Carlton, they say... We're not servants, we're ladies and gentlemen. Serving ladies and gentlemen. Ritz-Carlton caters to a very premium segment of the market. It is director-level executives of top companies. How can you deal with people who play the game at very high levels. Very simple. You must behave like ladies and gentlemen. And this is probably what makes Ritz-Carlton compelling to the C-suite executives from the top companies from around the world. If you take Google, it says to organize all the information around the world and give it to you in a useful and accessible way. When Starbucks says to nurture and inspire the human spirit, one person, one cup and one neighborhood at a time makes it a very inspiring mission to have. In fact, their founder Howard Schultz put it very, very beautifully. He said, We were not in the coffee business serving people, but we were in the people business serving coffee. If you were to take a Tesla, they talk in terms of accelerating the world's transition into sustainable energy. So what Tesla is really saying is this, I'm not a car company. I'm really in the business of enabling the world to make this transition into sustainable energy. Some of the world's most outstanding brands stand apart because they have vision statements, which is not only very human, but it's also inspiring. 